Annihilation the movie. I actually really enjoyed that movie. It was very hypnotic and haunting and felt honestly like one of the best portrayals of cosmic horror. One thing I was really interested in is the evolution in the thing called the Shimmer and how evolution worked in this alien barrier. let's talk about what the Shimmer is. The Shimmer is an amorphous entity that landed on Earth via a meteorite and is the main enemy of the film Annihilation. It crashed into a lighthouse by the sea next to a park and began projecting a mysterious electromagnetic field around its new home. As a result, it mutated the plants and animals by mixing their DNA with that of others. Some real eldritch horror stuff started going on inside of this barrier. The barrier steadily grew until it enveloped the whole park and would eventually do so with the whole world. The government deemed the force field and the designated areas surrounding the electromagnetic field as Area X, and they sent squads of soldiers in to investigate. Unfortunately, none of the teams returned, so they sent in an all-female team to travel to the lighthouse and report back what they found, and eventually they're all killed off too. The characters call Anya and Cass are killed off by a mutated bear. scariest scenes that's the most memorable part about that movie for me and someone Lee aptly put that Lovecraft perfectly described the scene in his tale Call of Cthulhu saying there are vocal qualities peculiar to men and vocal qualities peculiar to beasts and it is terrible to hear the one when the source should yield the other meaning hearing a cat make the sound of a snake or a human is going to be very disturbing <sighs> every time I see that scene I'm so freaking riveted anyways Josie later died because she was also getting absorbed to the shimmer most likely turning into one of those flower hybrid people things. And there's a disintegrated body sitting beside the wall. You see, the Shimmer scrambles DNA, revealing the flesh of one of the soldiers having moved like liquid. The Shimmer is such a peculiar entity that it also has the ability to duplicate as well as mimic, as we see with Lena's husband and the very strange duplicated deer creatures. The Shimmer will continue to absorb everything and fragment its genetic structure until it's been obliterated or annihilated before being fully assimilated into the Shimmer, as a result dying in the process. The Shimmer or alien entity had revealed itself to Lena, the main character of the movie, taking the form of a shapeless, glowing, seemingly cloudy fractal. After Lena leans into it, it absorbs a drop of blood from Lena and uses it to then create a humanoid entity that we see later mimicking Lena. Lena at first tries shooting the humanoid, but the bullets are absorbed by the entity, becoming a part of it. The humanoid also has the ability to teleport and mimic exactly what Lena does as if it's trying to learn from her or become her. This thing has the ability to create and mixes a whole bunch of things together to learn as much as it can about the environment. And when Lena quickly discovers that she can use this to her advantage, she gives the alien a phosphorus grenade. And the alien also absorbs the bad features of humans like their self-destructive or suicidal tendencies. This causes the thing to be set aflame. Since it had learned from Lena to be self-destructive, it does exactly that. It destroys itself or its creation, walking into the depths, setting fire to everything it touches, learning to destroy, almost like it becomes mesmerized at the idea of destroying its creations, like it never thought of it before. The fire quickly spreads across all the creations in the shimmer, causing them to burn, and as a result, disintegrating the force field around the beach in the park, and thus destroying the shimmer. So, <laughs> what basically happened in the movie Annihilation was horizontal gene transfer on steroids. Creatures and plants looked like they were hybrids of multiple things. The bear-human hybrid, a bear that basically was able to mimic humans that it ate. In hybrid human flower tree things, things got crazy. Everyone just mutated and mixed into each other. It's like putting a whole bunch of people in a room together and then they all come out looking like pieces of each other. You see, horizontal gene transfer actually happens in reality in nature. It is the uptake of DNA from one organism into the cells of another. As shown in this clip, the first organism's DNA is incorporated into the new organism's chromosome and then actually functions.
mutation is changing the properties of the receiving organism. This is especially common in bacteria, which exchange DNA frequently and which can evolve rapidly as a result. But if this was going to happen in more complex animals like mammals, there would need to be the introduction of foreign DNA into eggs or sperm cells, which are heavily secure. Actually, the development of mitochondria and chloroplasts, two of the most profound examples of horizontal gene transfer, involved invasion of one cell into another. But these examples are extremely rare, having take place only a handful of times throughout Earth's development and our evolution. As a result, the film Annihilation is scientifically nonsensical on numerous levels. But for argument's sake, let's say that this works. Also, if you didn't get what I just said, in layman's terms, as soon as you cross the threshold of the shimmer, your DNA starts to change and blend with the things inside of the shimmer. You could go in looking like a human or a fox and come out looking like a weird mix between a human and a bird or a fox in a tree. Basically, imagine Pokemon and what some of the Pokemon look like. And that's basically what happens to the creatures in the Shimmer or how they come out looking when they go inside the Shimmer or maybe even worse. As for the animal behavior in the Shimmer, the main animals that are being changed are going to play out their same behaviors while taking on the traits of the newest additions of genetic information to their system. Take the alligator for example. It still looked like an alligator but had shark features like many rows of teeth inside of its throat or the bear in the movie. The creatures still pretty much look like a bear, move like a bear, and sounded like a bear, but actually quickly absorbed the DNA of the girl it attacked and ate and took on not only features of her physical appearance inside itself, but also the ability to mimic her voice or sound like her. Some may even argue that it might have been the dead girl crying out in pain through the bear. I don't think that's the case because the bear is still alive? And it is the one that ate the girl. The girl is dead. Unless we're entertaining the notion that the consciousness of humans can still exist outside their physical vessel. The bear merely ingested the girl's DNA, being the closest thing to it, and having the ability to absorb some outside genetic information. And, as you can see here, took on some of her features, which it quickly assimilated into its own genetic code. Example, you can see the skull of a human being infused within the bear's skull with the human teeth, and the human eye socket fused with the bear's eye socket in the human's nose. Not to mention the voice that the bear has that belonged to the female victim it chewed up moments ago. It didn't even eat all of her, it just like tore out her vocal cords. So knowing all of this beautiful, chaotic weirdness, what would animals of the Shimmer look like eventually? We know what we see them looking like in the movie, and they look like horrid, eldritch, nightmarish things, some of them. And some of them pretty much look the same way that they do, with the exception of a few changes. I would imagine based on what we're seeing and what things turn out looking like, that they would look almost unrecognizable. In the Shimmer, there is a genetic mishmash of creatures, and it seems to be random and chaotic. If you were to take a fox like me and dump me into the Shimmer, well, <laughs> there's no telling what I'd end up looking like. These different artists' renditions of foxes, in the fantastical sense, could be possible variations of my genetic physiology if I were to come out of the Shimmer after being in there for a while. And so far, it seems as though the creatures are still able to function in the Shimmer. They very much still have the desire to hunt and eat and survive. Although they do seem a bit more aggressive than usual, or their behavior a bit altered than how they would usually behave, this is probably a result of them taking on human traits or the traits of other creatures around them. The bear in the movie Annihilation probably sought out to kill the humans more than a bear usually would. Outside of it having offspring to protect, because it was able to meld with the DNA of the forest, which no doubt was also partly human or had human remains, the bear understood humans and not to be afraid of them. Here's another question. Would the animals still mate inside the ship? Every animal or organism inside the Shimmer is now a chimera, a totally chaotic and random variation. There would be no breeding in the sense that we know. Everything would have a limited shelf life. If the bear had not died in the movie with enough time, the bear would probably look totally different than how it did when we first saw it. All organisms in the Shimmer can only change by ingesting new genetic material or over time. But what about the duplicated deer? In the movie, we saw these deer moving exactly the same in tandem, similar to how the alien was mimicking Lena in the end of the movie. That's not breeding. That is, in a sense, the creature learning the environment or putting everything into one. Everything is broken down until it becomes one. 
one entity, the same, a hive mind. Everything is mixed together until nothing has any variation. There would be no breeding. There would be no need to pass on any genes because nothing would be a species anymore. Everything would just be. So evolution of the shimmer would be just a breaking down of genes and molecules until everything would eventually become unrecognizable. One of the characters in the movie said as much. But it will grow until it encompasses everything. <sighs> Our bodies and our minds will be fragmented into their smallest parts until not one part remains. Annihilation. So that's basically how evolution would work. What we see from the outside as being evolution is just this alien, this thing, trying to make sense of the world that it's in. Taking everything apart to understand it and remaking it into something else. Repurposing it for its own survival. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer. Oh, my God.